Hey guys, Shane here Figure Deck 3D Printing. Today we're going to show off the tool that came in this month's 3D Geek Box, which is this little brass brush. Now I use a much smaller set of these for cleaning guns. Uh, there's a lot of them out there for lots of different occasions. That's what I've used them for. This one's a little bit larger, and this one is for cleaning your hot end. Now they say this is really good for cleaning your nozzle, and today we're going to give that a try. So if we zoom in here on my FT5, you can see that my E3D hot end is just a mess. And we're going to give this a try and see how well it works. Now again, some of the gunk on here is from failed prints, or sometimes when you're printing PETG, it can ooze out just because PETG, once it's heated, uh, I don't know the proper term, but I guess its viscosity uh, is much lower, I think is the proper term. But anyways, it flows and it's much a thinner plastic once it's heated up. So it has a tendency to ooze out of those really, really small cracks if your hot end and nozzle are not, or your nozzle and throat are not absolutely tight. So we're going to go ahead and heat this up to the temperature. So I have PETG on here, so I'm going to heat it up to about 240 degrees, and then we'll see if we can get this stuff off. All right, so now we're up 240 degrees. We're going to give this a brush, see what happens. All right, so I hope you guys can see how much better this is, but that really did a number on this hot end. And if you can look at the brush here, it really didn't do much damage to it. So I think it actually will hold up for quite a while. Now looking down at the build plate, you can see there's quite a bit of debris that came off of this. And right down in here, you can see all of this came from that. So be careful where you do this. Uh, you wanna make sure you minimize where this all is going. So I wanna thank Maker Geeks for including this in their box. Again, it's not a very high quality one, but it does the job well. You can see here some of the teeth are already a little bit frayed off, but again, it does a good job for what it is for. And this isn't meant to be anything very expensive, it's just meant to be useful. And I can always appreciate tools like that. You know, a lot of us shop at Harbor Freight, they're not the best quality, but they get the job done for a good price. Alright guys, so that does it for this quick little video on how to clean your hot end using this tool. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give it a like. Let me know that you like these. I love doing quick little videos like this to help you guys out. So if you guys support the channel, lots of ways to do it again. Subscribe down below, Patreon if you want to help me out with some of your hard earned money. Down below there's going to be affiliate links, go ahead and check those out. All that stuff really helps me out make the channel, helps me make content like this possible. So thanks again everyone, and as always, happy printing.